Hi, I'm John Hallberg, a family physician at the University of Minnesota and the medical director of the Mill City Clinic. And I'm going to show and demonstrate some of the masks that are available currently. The first one is a pretty typical surgical mask. This is something that you can uh, purchase. It comes in a box. Uh, most clinics will have these, and this might be used in surgery. And it's fine if you're trying to prevent droplets from being spread. If I were to cough or sneeze, it would uh, prevent that. Uh, but you can see on the side here, there's really no way of sealing it. And if it doesn't seal, then the only thing it's good for is preventing me from spreading illness to someone else. It's not going to prevent me from breathing in any viruses that I want to avoid. Um, but then we go to uh, a mask like this, which is, it looks like just another kind of dust mask or a surgical mask. But this is actually an N95 mask, and N stands for it's not resistant to oils, and the 95 means that it's like 95% effective against particulates. And this kind of a mask actually, um, though you can buy it um, and you put it on, it has to fit precisely, it has to form an absolute seal around the nose and the cheeks and the chin. If there's any opening, then it's essentially useless. I'll demonstrate this here. So this has two straps, one goes around the back of the neck, one goes on the top of the head. To pinch it here, and it forms a very tight seal, but as you can probably hear, it's, it's hard to speak. It's kind of hard on my face. Um, within a very short amount of time, this will become very hot inside, and the, the prospect of wearing this uh, throughout a entire clinic day or a shift in the hospital is hard to imagine. And then the other one is what they affectionately call the duck bill uh, variety, and I'll demonstrate this. Um, and I was just uh, bit tested for this uh, yesterday, in fact. So you put your chin in here. Get the top part over the nose. And there are two elastic bands. One goes at the top of the head, and one goes below the ears back here. And then uh, you have to make sure that it's absolutely tight. And uh, there it is. Um, it gets pretty warm after a while, and it also gets a little moist inside, um, but you know it can breathe fairly comfortably without feeling too claustrophobic.